Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we're playing Stationeers Escaping Mars Scenario. So from our last um, video, we had uh, already some potatoes being uh, synthesized, the first Martian potatoes, in the Biomaker. And what we are missing now is the hydroponics uh, stationed uh, in the in the in our little greenhouse here and yeah we need to grow those uh, potatoes uh, in our greenhouse so one disadvantage of the biomaker is that it takes a lot of energy um, so we want to use the sun energy to make our potatoes and for that we will need uh, water so we need to harvest water from ice and we will do that in the with a with a furnace here so let's uh, get started with um, first uh, we need to um, let's uh, I have I have a lot of stuff here so let me get rid of some of it okay so one thing we need to do is uh, we need to install the um, atmospherics uh, wait. the atmospheric module we will install it here so the, um, the atmospheric module uh, we have the air conditioner the filtration and this is what we we will need the electrolyzer uh, the electrolyzer I think this one is new I think uh, this one probably um, separates hydrogen and oxygen from water. Okay, but we need the filtration unit. And the filtration unit, uh, it has an input and output port right there and i have some uh, pipes here so basically we are taking uh, whatever is um, coming out of the of the furnace and we're uh, introducing it to the to the the filtration unit and then it's coming out uh, one part is um, filtrated and going uh, we have to store it right and another part is is coming uh, without filtration is continuing this path here so there's another like there's another yeah um, it's called there's another port here as you can see for the what we are going to do there this is for storage we're going to store it but um, also we want to harvest um, we want to be able to take some out okay in this way and yeah we uh, we would need a valve for that. I think we don't have a valve. We don't know if we can. Can we make a valve? We need iron. I think we don't have iron right now. How much iron do we need? Just three iron. So let's let's just ah uh, or. We could simply take it uh, from upstairs. 
Let's try to do that because there's there's some things upstairs that I think we will just not use. So there's a valve here, right? There is this thing. We will need that. Ah, with a okay. I don't know if that thing contains does this canister contain something? Uh, I'm not sure. We can just get rid of this. And this is the... Let's put these pipes here for later. <coughs> okay. I'm curious about this um, canister. It contains, ah yes, it contains some, some fuel, not much it seems. But it contains some fuel, okay. So let's take that as well. And put it here. Okay, so that's it. And yes, uh, another thing is that I um, made, uh, I installed three more solar panels because if you remember, we had trouble with our power. Now we have more power. So we are not that constrained with the power. Okay, so um, we will need this uh, thing here and we will place it we will place it um, there like this where should we? I think we will open it like that. Okay, so currently it's closed. So this will let us um, let's add more structures here. We need a lot of them, and we will need to close them at some point. Um, I, I don't want to close them just yet because I want to make the electric connections first. Okay. So we have some Martian potatoes to it. Well, this is my last potato, I think. I should make another one. Because... Yeah, when there's sun, um, I can just take advantage of the sun and uh, not deplete the battery. So let's do that. So what I was saying is that I need to um, connect the um, the um, atmospherics, the filter to uh, to to the grid. And the other thing we will need... Ah, let's place this because this is currently taking space in my inventory. Uh, and probably we won't need more... Um, do we need more? I, I don't think so. Oh... Walking in these things is a little bit. So we are going to place this here, guys. Like that. So. Uh, the idea, this. Um, uh, I cannot. Uh, I think I need one more. Uh, pipe so a straight pipe it's a little bit tall though Jetpack 
and then we can place that there so the idea here is that I can um, introduce a canister there and uh, it will be filled up with whatever um, gas I have connected to it I mean gas container and what we are going to do is we are going to to take uh, some structures from the mine we're going to take this thing uh, we will need a hand drill for that so this is what we need and then we we need a we're going to take one of, of this um, one of these tanks we could also use um, those uh, tanks but for now uh, I want to use the small one so Oh, what did I do? <laughs> I threw it. Okay, uh, this is annoying. I think I will. I will place. Do we have? No, we don't have. Ah, the potato is ready. It's making another one. Okay. Um, yeah, while there's light, it's okay. You will make another one and then I will shut it down. Um, what I am looking for? Yes, we are looking for some... Well, I can use these ones. Yeah, let's do that. I want to place uh, some structures here so we can walk. This is very annoying to have to turn the jetpacks all the time. So we place uh, this here. This is a um, tank connector. So. Yeah, that's there. The tank connector. So here we um, just we need to connect um, the tank there, and this tank will become the container for or gas that we are harvesting. Oh, the other potato is done. I think I will turn this off. So. we can place this here for now okay so i think we are done with that soon we will have the um, the furnace going and we will need ice so let's get oh no this is a really bad place so we uh, take the, the tank right And let's fly to our destination. Okay, so what we need to do is just place the the tank in place here. I think that's there we go. 
and then what we need is just to connect it with the wrench and that's it we're set up so what is missing now is the electric connection um we will need that oh we don't have much cable though uh, let me look where where is this cable ah uh, there but i fear that there's not much i think there's no more cables here um there's copper though uh, there's copper so i think i will make some cable coil we will need um yeah some that's enough that's enough and now we have to connect it we just have to connect this uh, I think we will connect it here I think we need the the three way core uh, where is this one and then the straight here we need a yeah straight as well and finally a core there we go so that's what we need and we need now we need to place the filters remember the filters we made like the water filters we have two of them so um yeah we place them inside and um, what we will do later on is that we should have yeah probably this is not the best way to put this but instead of that we should place a corner there like that because then we will have like um, a similar a similar arrangement with another um, atmospheric filter here because we later on we want to harvest more um, gases from the furnace we can harvest for example um, co2 and that we can use uh, for example for um, some um, greenhouse this would be a, another project like to create a separate greenhouse that it's uh, instead of uh, being filled with oxygen or regular air breathable air it will be filled with co2 to maximize like the to maximize the the, the plant uh, biomass production uh, we also need to harvest uh, fuel for our jetpacks this we can also harvest and so on we can also harvest oxygen for um, tanks okay so now we 
take this canister and we put it there. Well, currently, yeah, currently it doesn't have anything, but later on it will have something. So, and this canister we will use um, with the hydroponics once it's filled with water. So that is that. Let's close this. Okay, we are nearly uh, done here. So, what do we do first? I think we, we will make some um, metal. Because we need to process all this stuff I have here. Because we, we are r running really low on uh, stuff on iron and copper and the machines are almost empty um, i think i should uh, switch i think i have i have something left yeah, well, I have to... Ah, we need to get some volatiles. Right. Okay, but before that, we can, we can just try to harvest the things here. So, pressure... Uh, let's decrease the pressure so we can or we just turn it off if it's off i think it doesn't regulate the pressure let's see I, hopefully this will work um well currently there there are things there but uh no water there's co2 what's the pressure though the pressure is 2.64 megapascals. Well, it's a lot of pressure currently. Um, there's oxygen. Well, there's a lot of CO2. It's most what is, is there. Okay, and if we turn this on, what happens? the pump is on and now it doesn't seem to it doesn't seem to react to anything I don't know if really the things are going out I think they are just accumulating there but this Ah, now it's the um, this like you see like the toxic stuff is going out and I wonder where is it going ah it's increasing this part of the p of the network Hmm. I hope we don't have a problem here because now we have 100 kilopascals in this part of the section and here uh, well here there's a lot of pressure as well if we turn this on and now pressure is going down this is uh, 10 megapascals Ooh. We should we shouldn't be so close there because these pipes tend to blow up. Okay, but it's going down right now. And pressure here is going down. So let's let's um introduce the ice. So there is that ice.
and now there's water you see now there's water and hopefully this is you see the pressure is going up of the tank so now we have 10 moles of water in the tank so this is how we harvest water okay so that is um, basically working as expected so let's place some more um, ice in the in the furnace hopefully nothing will blow up no now the pressure is too um, kpa so that's good okay that's good that's that's very promising right there because it means that um, we can have um, we will be um, harvesting water soon now this is um, increasing the pressure here so there we are we are we are harvesting the water there so next what i want to do is to take some um some volatiles because we need all these um uh, iron and uh, copper i need to process these uh, things there so let's get some volatiles I think if we have a mixture of um, maybe 214 or yeah maybe 214 is enough Jet 214 will be enough and next we we will need these hydroponics That's enough. We don't need more than that. So we will be making some iron and copper and gold as well, all right? We have some gold. I have some gold here 50 gold as well okay so let's turn this uh, Filter, this big boy on so yeah let's have four let's have four of these four and eight Four and eight. Eight. There we go. And now we take the iron and more iron. Introduce it there. Mm. Oh, it seems it doesn't have, okay, it doesn't have enough temperature or what? We need what? 700? I think we need 1000. Okay, so we cannot make iron yet. Let's make copper. There is some copper. Let's have uh, gold. Where's the gold? Light on. Uh, there 
some gold. I think we need 1000 Kelvin for the for the iron. So probably we will need more um, oxide if we want to make because it's not nearly enough okay otherwise I will make the I can make the iron in the other because I need iron now so it's daytime and we can we can use some some light silicon can we have a silicon bar no we, this doesn't make the silicon bar Okay, I think that's all. We have some lead and silver, but and uh, not some and cobalt. I I'm not sure. I don't remember if um, what do you do with a with a cobalt? Oh, look at this! It burst. I don't know what's the logic behind this. I guess that I need um, a passive vent. I will do that right away because I get the f the the idea that these pipes uh, uh, at the exit keep bursting like they the gas is not going out I don't know fast enough I don't know what's what's the problem there um, so if I look for active vent or a passive vent. Do, do we need a... No. Let's make a passive vent. What do I need? Iron. Yes, iron. I have this idea that it requires uh, it seems to require a, a, an, an output device there so let's take this out let's switch and doesn't seem to I think hmm. what's the problem here there so Hopefully this will let things out. Well, you see that there are some... Um, well, the pressure is not going down. Thirty-nine kPa. Twenty-five. 39 I don't know and what is it mostly CO2 okay 
Yeah, okay, I don't know. Hopefully this, this will uh, prevent the pipe from bursting again. It's strange uh, sometimes how these pipes behave. It's like they are not... Um, 30% water. Like they are not um, expelling. They are not like... Um, they don't work as an exhaust or something. I don't know. This this is what it seems to me. Like they don't work as exhausts. But it's strange because in the... In the lock... Um, in the airlock there, they, I have like an open pipe and it seems to work as an exhaust. When the gas is dumped, then it, um, then the, the, the other room is pressurized and the airlock is depressurized. Okay, so I think this is what we need for now. Let's see. This now has um, three megapascals. That's a lot. Nine hundred forty, nine hundred thirty-seven uh, moles of water. So I think that is a lot. So now this um, this canister here should be empty. Oh, it contains something. Uh, okay, so it's not entirely empty. It contains, but it contains really trace amounts of things. Maybe I should make a new canister because I think this is like a some canister I found, like a discarded canister. Let's uh, make a new one. Gas canister, we can do it. Yeah, so this canister is new, it doesn't contain anything. It's better to be sure that uh, we have everything right because otherwise we we just end up losing resources so now this is the new canister ah but look it it's already filled with stuff okay uh, or was this the No, oh, yes, it gets filled with uh, things. I think because for some reason this uh, this pipe here is containing something. Okay, so let's test. Let's test. Um. Ah, there. Now it's filled with uh, with. Um, with water 69 moles of water so in principle this is what we need this canister full of water hopefully so now what do we need we need to make our hydroponics ah, and this is very uncomfortable I, I, I have to change uh, I have to change this Uh, the way we change the, this dumping of the of the output of the furnace is just going to that hole, and we can change this by creating some shoots. And yeah, I would have to do that sh soon. So this is the portable hydroponics. Oh, we need a nickel. Ah, oh, this is a surprise. Okay. 
So we need nickel. I know where we can find nickel. Um, but I have to see what are the conditions for nickel. What are the conditions for nickel? Because it could be that it's something... If it's a narrow thing, like uh, what we had for electrum, nickel, I'm looking it up here. What do we need? Ah, well, we can do it in the arc furnace. How, how much? Ah, it's nothing. It's really um, small the amount of but we have steel so it requires steel it requires copper and nickel okay so let's do that let's let's go for some nickel i think we can do we have to keep this on Five hundred KPA. Okay, let's leave it on for some for some time. And I have some hunger going on. Okay, so. What should we do? Ah, this is the gold. I want to introduce the gold. Well, sometimes gold is better to have it here because this... The electronics is the one that requires more gold. Okay, so let's go for the... For the nickel. So it's not far away from here. This is a small detail. We don't need much. I don't want to take a lot because because then it takes more energy to create ingots. So it's around here. It's in this mo mm. There. This is the nickel. Sure enough. And basically this is this is what it needs. Five. That's the minimum. Let's go back. And soon it will be uh, when it when it is daytime we can we can see if our plants are growing. Ah, but another thing is that we need. Um, I should look into that. We have to have the right temperature in the in our pressurized room in our greenhouse so let's put that in and turn it on some iron let's put iron here let's turn this off for now and we will need, I think, uh, the disc. Let's see for the for the wall heater. I need. We need to 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 create the temp the right temperature conditions. Pressure is one hundred three kilopascals. That's 
fine. Ah, temperature is 12 degrees. That's not bad. Um, probably we at the end we will need some air conditioning because it could be that it will heat more than needed. So if we turn this on, what happens? 12, 13, yes, the temperature is going up. I don't know for what reason we need this uh, disc here, I'm not sure. So let's, let's increase to 20 degrees, right? Let's have the temperature of the room at 20 degrees. I don't know. The disc, I think, is not needed. And hopefully our nickel is done. Yes. So let's make our hydroponics. Um, portable hydroponics, right? And, and we will also need the, 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 the canister. Okay, and this... I think we don't need any more of the mining belt. Wow, it's very slow. Okay, and ha what's the status here? I want to turn off. Yeah, I think that's enough. We can just turn it off. Turn that off, turn that off. Okay, I need it didn't blow up this time. I think we can turn this off as well. Um okay. Should we create I think we should create a, another potato? Let's see how is our power if we are cool with the power oh we are like depleting power Yes this is because we we had all these things on like the filter and the pumps and stuff and also we are and this potato thing, yeah, this takes power. Okay, that's done. Great. Let's grab that. This is the thing with the water, the canister with the water. Still is taking some time. I have to to turn it off when it's done. And also we have the wall heater. That's true. But I don't know, this wall heater is not very efficient, is it? Ah, yes, here. 18 degrees. I think this is enough. 19 degrees. Okay. So, now... Yeah, there it is. And there is the canister. Okay, so we have... Oops. 
I want to put it just in the corner. Yeah, there is the good spot. That's a good spot. And where is the potato? Ah, I left the potatoes outside. That ain't good. Okay, but we can just then use... Use this opportunity to turn off the potato machine. Hopefully it's done already. Yes, it's done. Off we go. Potatoes. Potatoes because also we need to eat. Because we are already 3% nourished and this is bad. We're starving. We need to have some... Baked potatoes. There. Look at that. Potato is growing. You see the plant. We can have two of them, right? And then we can cook that one. Okay, so sixteen moles. Okay, that's how much. And this has already one potato, or one potato. Well, that's the plant, right? It's done. So, um, yeah, the plant produces potato pretty quick. That means it produces... Um, I think you can harvest two or three potatoes each day from each plant. I'm not sure. So... Uh, when it's done here you can you can um, it will tell you that you can harvest the plant so let's go back leave that there have to keep, keep an eye on the power the problem now is that, yeah, with this, we're using power with, um, with the airlock. We're using power with the airlock, so um, yeah, that's um, that's a power drain there. And if we are like manufacturing stuff using the machines, this extra extra power. Okay, so what should we do now? I think. I think we're going to place that canister there. We can fill it with water. So when the other canister is empty, we can um, change it. And what else is pending? Well, I have a lot of things to manufacture, but we are really low on power. Um, what else? Ah, uh, yes, I think I should close those. What should we close? I think we should close these ones here. And there is uh, iron down there. Uh, 
I won't close. Uh, okay, I can close this one and that one, but I cannot close this these others yet because I need them to get my stuff. Uh, yes, and the other thing is that we need to uh, handle this con input connection for the. for the furnace the furnace has an input um, port to introduce gas in it okay and it's night time i i'm not sure if our potatoes are done yet let's see okay not yet they're not yet but they have flowers so they are they're almost um, done so it takes I think it takes a, a one full day to to uh, create this um, to be able to harvest the, the potatoes uh, what else do we have here yeah, I need to manufacture stuff. But not yet. Okay, yeah. the other thing I wanted to show you is... Um, I'm not sure if I showed you this already. Um, you have these um, CO2 filters in your suit and uh, they work as um, yes the co2 scrubbers right and once they are used they will be like at zero percent and what you do with those filters is that you can just um, recycle them and look we have a little bit more power Okay, well after growing the potato what would be pending is to to be to um, build a some type of um, rocket or spaceship right I don't know what uh, I have a uh, in, uh, since I play Space Engineers, I haven't made my first spaceship or vehicle. I have always uh, base building. I, I have always uh, done um, base building. Okay, so what should we do now is the question. Ah, yes, I was going to show you the filters. These are empty filters here and what we do with them is we put them in this machine and it will recycle them so we will see some output here there iron you see we get some iron I don't know exactly how much is the proportion. I think there's nothing else, right? I think. So for two uh, filters, we got five iron. And probably that is um, half of the... Each, you you, you, you uh, take back half of the iron that you used to uh, produce it I think let's see filter yeah that's right 
you need five uh, grams of uh, iron to produce one filter and we introduced two filters and got back five so that means that each filter is giving you two and a half um, two and a half iron back so it's half roughly half or exactly half I should say okay so we're almost done here hopefully we will be harvesting our first Martian potato soon let's see if our potatoes are done There we are. Guys, we have our first Martian grown potatoes. There they are. Each one gives three potatoes. So we can plant more of them. and still have two potatoes back okay so now uh, if we look at the at the escaping mars scenario like help message here it says that we need to create a mothership by crafting a mothership core using kit mothership and attaching a rocket engine to it so that would be the subject or next episode we are, we will start uh, building the rocket to escape mars um, and today we have achieved the uh, growing potatoes on mars so we are following the film <laughs> the martian in this regard and hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoy it uh, please leave a like and uh, see you in the next one this is Cyber Settler signing off.